Forza going strong. NVIDIA now. And Xbox. And who says that $70 isn't enough? <laughs> if I piqued your interest, these topics is going to really pop your top. Pause. Remember when Xbox got together with NVIDIA and, you know, Phil Dominus Maximus, Aurelius Spencer, first of his name, was handing out all these 10-year deals and they gave one to NVIDIA. And everybody was like, well, in the, in the, in the PC space, uh, NVIDIA now is like the leading uh, cloud-based streaming stuff that allows you to stream to all your devices, right? And we was like, what's the benefit and how does it happen and what's going on? And initially, you know, we thought it was just Call of Duty stuff and stuff like that. But what has come out now, because there's a bundle package out in these streets. And for all my um, PC warriors, for all my PC elitists, you know, like myself, you know, NZXT PC stuff, uh, that like to game in the highest fidelity, be it streaming, be it, uh, you know, uh, technically, you know, on board and everything. Xbox and uh, NVIDIA has got this ultimate bundle going on. And Ubisoft and all that stuff is wrapped up all into it, right? And the fact of the matter is, right now, NVIDIA is trying to corner the market on PC cloud gaming with the help of Microsoft because... Right now, NVIDIA now is hooking up with Xbox Game Pass PC and putting a bundle together where you can just jump in and purchase this bundle at a low price. And then it ties everything all into one. So all your login and all your stuff and all your games that you do have is consolidated all into one nice package. And it allows you as a PC gamer to experience all of what Xbox has to offer on um, Xbox PC, Game Pass, and Ubisoft, it's an ingenious move, especially during this holiday season. You buy your, your whoever, this gift, this package, this bundle, and do you know how much they're saving but gaming anywhere they want to game? It's an incredible, ingenious thought. Xbox is definitely reaching more gamers. And that was the whole thing with reaching 8 billion different new gamers. And you're seeing part of the strategy being implemented. Shout out to NVIDIA and Xbox for getting together, you know, and handling that and getting it done. Because who said that two uh, cloud-based giants can't come together and make stuff happen? Who's the winner? And 18 new games is being dropped inside uh, NVIDIA now. Incredible stuff. This We're on a precipice of them reaching that number that we all thought they could reach. Well, some people thought they couldn't reach it. But I have faith. Big wheels keep on turning. Proud for to keep on burning. Rolling. Rolling. Falls is rolling over the competition, bro. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how you see Forza came out with Forza Street Mobile, right? And probably didn't hit properly, pause. And now they got this thing called Forza Customs, launch Forza Customs. It's for the custom dudes, like you dudes that like to trick out your cars and do custom stuff to it. And they're leaning heavily into the customization. And this is for mobile. Remember, they're going to go get your 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 where your eyes are. And our eyes are always on our phones. So you download the app, you check it out, and it has a lot of customizations to your cars. 
and it's something really cool. It's, it's, it's a nice little thing that if if you're into tricking out your cars, because I see, I, and listen, I drive through the Bronx all the time, and I see people that want to be the Fast and the Furious all day long. So if you into that level of customization and stuff like that, I will tell you to give Forza uh, Customs a try on your mobile, on your phone, on your Android, and on your um, your iPhone. You know, I got an Android. Of course I do. I think outside the box. Pause. But also, Forza had the big uh, download, the DLC that they just dropped, and they gave you a couple of extra boards. So the new board that they they put in, in um, I was looking at the trackside detail, and I was looking at it compared to Forza 7, and you notice it's a huge level of detail increase on the trackside level. Now, I mean, the cars is pretty much set, right? The difference between Forza 7 and Forza Motorsport, the ongoing, as I predicted, uh, games of a service game that will continually be updated and stuff added to it and everything will just start launching in there. Um, that game decided to go with HDR, uh, high dynamic range lighting uh, instead of the baked in lighting. Now, sometimes that lighting can come off a little flat. But then other times it's hugely spectacular, but it's real lighting, the real range of lighting, opposed to the one that's in Forza Motorsport 7, where it's just like baked in. So when I'm watching the detail of the track, the track really looks different. So I had to put in Forza Motorsport 7 to see what was the difference. And it's a good difference, a good set of differences uh, between the two. And I'm just proud of how turn 10 shows up in the generation and that's when the generation really starts to hit its stride they're really doing such a great job and i appreciate it as uh you know i like to jump in forza every once in a while i like to jump in horizon but now i have you know customs on my phone and i'm able to do the dlc there's so much more forza happening right now definitely my racing game of the year that should have been nominated on they should have a whole category for that. We had a bunch of racing games this year that was really good. But um, definitely give that a check. Either one. So if, you, if you're if you a racing individual and you want to know more about Forza, down with that Xbox, go check that out. The DLC is crazy. Has a lot of stuff that expands and expanded into it. And, you know, Forza Customs is something to keep your eye on because I'm definitely going to make sure that I customize a little street vehicle because, you know, I got a big Suburban. <laughs> Be very careful of these earning calls. Well, Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick was at an earning call. And in these earning calls, you have to talk about the numbers and you have to talk about everything that's going on and yeah, everything is laid bare in front of you, right? So, they're talking about how $70 games aren't enough. And if you look at it compared to any genre, any, any other genre, comparable prices is at a, a, um, a, a deficit compared to other mediums. Of entertainment now what formula he used I'm not gonna break that formula down because that formula it's might go over you know not my audience head but it gets a little convoluted but what, what he was explaining was the dollar amount per hour that you spend in the game should be equal or greater than cost right and my complaint to that is due to the fact that what type of economic crisis that we're in at the moment right now, that is not cool for the consumer, right? Especially when you're opposed to services. So what he wants is he wants it to be paid like per hour type of thing. So the longer the game, the more you pay. That is particularly scary knowing that grand theft auto 6 is on the horizon and the fact of the matter is that's the game that they can push that line for do not be surprised if you see 89 to 99 dollar game in grand theft auto for the basic 
and 120 for the collectors. I I'm I'm I want y'all to give comments at the bottom of this because I don't like this at all. I'm not for this. I wasn't for the $70 stuff and I'm not for this now. But all I want to say is like, follow, and subscribe. Uh and I've noticed that 29% of you that watch the videos aren't subscribed. The 71% you guys are tearing it up. Thank you. I appreciate you. Subscribe. Hit the uh, notification button so you know whenever I drop videos. I drop videos daily. Live show on Friday, 6.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's call-in show. So you get a chance to call in and talk to me. So if you got an issue, holler at your boy. But, yo, this is Xbox Frontline News. With your boy, King David. Next time, I'm going to bring you something a little bit more spicy. Because it's Friday, baby.